And welcome everybody to the Jeremy Womack Show. I think I'm a little bit, there you go. Thanks everybody for tuning in, to, in today. I have Mr. Edgar Arana on the show. I've known Edgar for ages and Mr. George Carson has known him for a long time as well. Uh, Edgar is, is, does quite a bit of everything out there, whether it's uh, computer programming or social media marketing. Um, with his his new company, he's traveling all over the world doing all sorts of things, which we're going to cover on the show, even though he's Mr. Secret Agent sometimes. And, uh, not true. Not true. Not true. That you're not a secret agent. Yeah. No. George is already laughing. We haven't of course, even <laughs> you see when you when when you see him taking a picture of himself in you know um, Singapore, and then you say, "Oh, what's what's going on there?" Well, the reason I'm laughing, working, I, I can he, see myself in, in his yeah, glasses. He has, <laughs> his hat. He has the hat down, like he kind of looks like a secret agent at yeah. the camera here. You can't. Oh, well, do you see what he says? Do you see hat? what the hat says? What does it say? Read you got to read it on the air. Can you see it in the camera? I uh, know you can't. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing, I guess. Well, is it, is, it that, uh, is it that reflective? I can read it. Maybe your eyes are going bad, Mr. Of course George. they are. I'm old. <laughs> but uh, one of... Uh, it's a funny thing. It is. It's, it's, it says tits, basically. Uh, one of the things that uh, Edgar will say is, you know, versatility is the way to survive in this economy, and, and that's what he does, is that he's, he just does a multitude of things. Uh, including, you know, doing promotions uh, with Palazzo and the Azure Pool. So thanks for coming in today, uh, Edgar. I, I keep wanting to call you George. I don't know why. You look just like each this other. This is like a high school reunion. It is kind of, right? I, I miss doing the show with you. I mean, uh, for sure. you, you did a show back in the day. Um, it was, uh, what was the name of it? You were DJ Bad Dog or yeah. something like that? We put that name to rest. <laughs> did it, did <laughs> it go away? Uh, no, you know, with social media and everything, branding reasons, it's good to use your own name. So. I, I agree. So, so uh, you went out, you, you took Tec someone, took the initiative and bought the domain name edgarana.com. Yeah. yeah, technology changed everything from back in the day. I, I feel really old now. You feel old? I do. Are you old? I'm going to be... 44 this wow. year. Can you believe it? Hey, wait a minute. What the hell does that make me? <laughs> <laughs> it must make George older than you. You're like a bottle of wine. You're fine. Yeah, so <laughs> cool, cool, that works. <laughs> You're fine. So uh, Edgar and I have been talking about uh, him coming on the show for a bit. I'm glad to have him on. The intro, as I said yesterday, I, I took my old intro from X Radio and I said, I, I want to use this still, um, but can you take out those parts of it? And, uh, you know, he's, he's a whiz uh, to the point where I get it, get it to him and I think what you said was Steve and Steve Walker helped with it too. He's like, it's just put together so well. Props to Steve Walker that you were able to just surgically cut that stuff out, no problem. Yeah, he layered like really clean yeah. on, on the wave, right? On the audio wave, you know. So I was able to get there and uh, surgically remove surgically remove it out the stuff that you didn't want there anymore. So yeah, and and I think it sounds good. It's a nice uh, clean intro and outro to the show. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no, I went to, to school for audio production, so that's not just something that anybody can do overnight, oh, yeah. you know. You've got to have the tools and the knowledge yeah. to get it done. Damn it, I was going to try it overnight now. Now I yeah. can't. Well, I, I, I was I, trying to get you to try it overnight, and you're like, no, Well, sorry. I told him it was going to take a long time, and five minutes later, he did. I told him, you know, <laughs> he goes, no. I, I kept saying, hey, can you work on this? He's like, oh, I don't know. It's going to take me a while. And then, and then he goes, you're not going to believe it, but... I'm done. It's done. Like, I said, I didn't realize I got that good. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's patting himself, yeah. you know. Uh, I told you that. I know, you honest. did. You did. Well, um, a lot of your talents include social media consulting. You do event creation and, and management of those events for people, um, online marketing, PR, and branding. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the, the new stuff you're getting into, which is cyber cybersecurity and information um, and data security as well. But I mentioned earlier about his show that he had because he's a DJ, producer, uh, remixes stuff uh, quite well. Uh, in fact, when I had my old show, old, old show, um, he did all the music for it, so anything that you heard on it was him doing that and, yeah, and we, putting we, it together. We had a show together, and then I went, I did my own show, but mm -hmm. I worked in your show. Yeah, like we all help each other pretty much. And yeah, that's the way, the we, way of the world. We had a good thing going until the corporate minds <laughs> destroyed it. That's what we like about George. <laughs> he he's a, he's he's like one of us. He's one of us. He knows what's up. He knows yeah. what's up. You know, he isn't that, it's that also on humble beginners like us. It's not exactly that, right. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that corporate mindset of. Uh, I'm still laughing about the running around between clubs, switching records from when. Oh, from oh, when, when I did that. Like, Actually, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, talk on the show. So you know, that. I listen to all the shows. Right. <laughs> he says it's his crack now. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? He yeah, listens I like to every it. single one. I laugh all the time. 
<laughs> you guys and, are hilarious. And then he and then he watched uh, Heidi Mother and Dated him with uh, Lauren oh, Jeffrey God. Gates. Oh. <laughs> I don't know all what all I will do. All I can say is, oh. I, oh God! I, I don't know what I will do in that show. Like, uh, that's funny because I think she, I think she's listening to you guys right she now. Right now? She just hi, Lauren. She just clicked on. Did she? <laughs> hi, Lauren. How are oh, you? Nice headphones, George. Hey, thanks. They look yeah, familiar. They, they both oh, have right. beat headphones. Yeah, we kind of do, huh? They don't. They don't provide me with the the, the beats. <laughs> the but cool that's stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he brought his own, by the way. Dropping names. So like yeah, but you liked uh, Lauren's show as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I like. She was naked yesterday. You do realize this during her show. She was came she? in here, she was running it's late. like, what she's going to do next? Like, <laughs> boot flying out, ass hanging. I don't know. See, he does watch the show. Yeah, he watches the show. <laughs> These hats will be perfect Tits. for her. All right. yeah. But uh, I didn't know that she was, because I didn't see the show, but she was completely She naked. ran in late because she was actually out trying to get me a birthday present. Okay. She didn't realize it was my birthday, and... Uh, so she showed up late, and she had something on different. So she actually ducked down behind the desk. Uh -huh. You've seen her head sticking up naked completely underneath. She was wow. stripping down. Because she was changing. She was changing, yeah. While her show was going on. While her show was going. That's the perfect time to change. <laughs> <laughs> Not before your show. <laughs> but during, when it's on camera. And like Edgar <laughs> said, you never know what the hell is uh, going to happen. It's, it's interesting. And it's what's fun about this. And, and I think uh, I'm, I'm encouraging Edgar to come back on the scene and get his own... Uh, his own show too, because yeah. I think he misses it. I do. I don't miss it. Um, you, you missed the radio time and all the. So we changed so no, much. No, I, since I you've miss been there. helping new artists because right. I was discovering a lot of the music which no other radio station will do. That's and true. As Jeremy uh, know, I, I got a lot of exclusives from all over the world from mm -hmm. DJs that I didn't even know. Drew or, or was DJ, on the show. Or DJs that I know. Right. Randy Boyer was on my yeah, show. Yeah, they're they're famous that they will. They will send me their tracks before they went up in iTunes, Beatport, anything, and I will play them exclusively on the show. Yeah. Oh, cool. So I, I, I miss that aspect of uh, of yeah. providing that to to these upcoming artists or established artists. It doesn't matter. That was something similar to what you were doing a long time ago when you were yeah. talking. It was yeah, years I, ago, but yeah, you were doing similar it Similar to what he does, you yeah. know, helping friends, or, right. you know, networking. I love to help people. So. Well, see, that's what we got to do. You know, we're we're not actually the younger generation, but we kind of are in a way of the new way of doing it. Right. Get rid of these old corpse out of there. Well, There's a better yeah. way to do this than yeah, what they do. When you were gone, I would say, oh, okay, that guy did something good. You right. know, and yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. he was an <laughs> asshole or something. You know, <laughs> did he never do anything for <laughs> anybody? So well, I'm good. That I'm glad that you guys have a good rapport because that's I think important. Uh, because I I know what. George brings to the table. I know what Edgar brings to the table. I just know what myself can bring to the table. And with these minds coming at it, I just go, well, we're just going to change the game even more. Not that they we're not doing that now, but mm -hmm. I, I just see what's going to happen. And it'll get to that point where it'll be hard to, if there's that competition, especially here in town, that's trying to match it, it's just going to be difficult. And I'm, I'm all... all I, as I've said before on the show, I'm I'm for competition. That's great, you know. It just makes people better. But I, you know, I I do know that uh, what's coming is is not has been uh, it hasn't been seen at least here. Right. Maybe it's been do, maybe people are doing it other places, but it's not happening here. I, I had to drop a disclaimer. I, I uh, curse a lot. We already heard you say uh, asshole. Yeah, <laughs> I curse a lot, and my that's my family's fault. But, oh, it's their know, fault. I, yeah, my, <laughs> they make my, you do it. My grandparents, my my uncles, my mom, everybody's always been. Really? On a side note, uh, you may not be able to understand everything that Edgar is saying, so yeah. he brought some things for like, us. Like these. Some Little number one. I don't know if so if you need to contact him here, <laughs> as opposed to him screen? telling you. Can you see it okay? Yeah, move it up a little closer right here to this dot. Yeah. So in case see. you need to get a, a hold we'll, of We'll go closer for so you. So I wrote that so we don't have to be spelling every single. There you go. Up it's a, a bunch bit. of A's and R's in Perfect. there. Perfect. So there you go. You can find <laughs> you can find him on Facebook. Yeah. You can find him on Twitter. Go to Jeremy. Well, you find him on you find me there. No, no, no. Then then you just negated the fact that you printed this all out. That's <laughs> yeah. what that's for. <laughs> okay. You it's, it's, a, it's a shameless plug. You know? <laughs> well, you know, it's easier than you may be saying it. Yeah. So I appreciate that. And 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 you wore a special hat today, and you're gonna. Yeah, I'm you gonna, told I'm me you're gonna change. Oh, see there. there you go. We see it on the uh, on the instant I'm replay. I'm going into the <laughs> So let's, let's <laughs> his glasses with no no lenses. Yeah. Yes. This is when I go to conference technology. I walk around with this like, wow, that guy must know a lot of stuff. He, he must. Shouldn't you have wore them first if you're incognito? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. He's a secret agent. That's what I'm saying. I would. I used to have to when we would go out um, because you know you on Facebook and stuff. You you can tag people and say, oh, I'm with this person, and then it was this like understood thing to ask first and say, um, are you? 
and he would call it secret agent. I said, are you secret yeah. agent tonight? And he said, yes, I'm secret agent. Don't tag me. I'm like, no, no you okay. will tag me as a secret agent. Oh, yeah, I would say I was out with, with secret, secret agent. Hashtag yeah. secret agent. Uh, hashtag secret agent. Like so, so uh, you know, I want to, you want to, him and I were having lunch the other day and say, I, I need to clarify to a lot of people, like, what the hell I do. A lot of people don't, don't know what well, I do. Because this is the thing, you know, if you follow Edgar uh, at they all, don't know what I, do. I kind of mentioned honestly, it earlier. Yeah. I said, you will see him. Uh, in Macau and uh, Miami and Singapore and all these places and then and people are naturally curious about what people <laughs> are doing with their lives and so they're like w what are you doing there I I'm a one-liner guy he like is working. a one-liner guy so he goes <laughs> I'm working and I, s and I talked to him I said listen man all you're doing I mean it sounds mysterious but all you're doing is just creating this weird situation because people are like this is all he responds with is I'm working. He doesn't give us anything else. <laughs> and so now either he seems like he's uh, just being a jerk about it <laughs> or, or uh, look at me. I'm traveling. I, I'm I so to. awesome. But, but there, the underside is, is that he does have to protect the people yeah. that he's with. Right. So I get that. But give us a little bit more. So yeah. let, let's delve into that since you brought it up. So you, 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 know, my, my, you want my background. Let's put, look about uh, my put the glasses on first. Oh, yeah. You well, have to look smart. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm a computer nerd, first of all. A lot of people he don't know that. He has, a, he has a bachelor's in computer science. Yes, that's one. He also has a bachelor's, and this, is, this will throw you through a loop, in agriculture and zoology. If, for those who know, so zoology is when you take care of, of, of cows. Just cows. Yeah. Only cows. No chickens, hens, or nothing I thought else. zoology was all animals. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole umbrella, but it is, the emphasis is make sure that they're vaccinated, that they're healthy, you know, we, so we, we eat their eat meat, and right. they, 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 they also use their milk. Right, right. So Because uh, Edgar, if you didn't, didn't already know, grew up in Guatemala. Yeah. His I'm family sorry. is big in the coffee industry. Um, so and you need milk for your coffee. And you need milk for the coffee. Well, so I he's did, like, I, naturally, I need to go learn about this, so... I can just know what the cow has in it already and take my cup of coffee and go. I did an hour show the, with from coffee. The, from coffee. the teat of the, of the cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I did a whole hour show with, uh, what was it, Coffee with Carol? Yeah. Back in the day, yeah, a whole hour. Time, yeah. a whole thing she about coffee. She poked her head in her earlier. Yeah, that was yeah. her, her yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah, no, I remember. <laughs> so we dis everything about, she was fascinated about everything I knew about coffee, but, I, you know, I grew. She uh, loves coffee. Yeah. She's a fan of the coffee. I know. So and that's the family background. So the bachelor in computer science, bachelor in um, uh, agriculture, uh, agriculture, and then, and then uh, web design and graphic. That's just an associate. Okay. You know, so it, it, it has been a progression. Like uh, when I went to school for computer science, back in the day, it was everything heavy on technical support, right? That's when the technology was. Right. Sure. Everyone was technical support because nobody knew what the hell they were doing. Um, so computers start coming out pretty fast. The technology was um, coming, uh, you know, one after another. We went from big computers to laptops and so forth. And so the cell phones that can do everything now. And pads. Yeah, tech support. And pads and pads. <laughs> then after the tech support was like the the web, the everything is going into the internet mm. and the big uh, bubble burst of the internet, which I got paid with a lot of paper. It does not nothing today. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> on your wall. <laughs> no, a lot of things that. He, well, he, like, like I will take a salary for like fifty thousand dollars in LA for for a year, but mm -hmm. thirty five thousand were in paper, hoping that the company will oh, make it. Get right. some stock right. options or stock something. Options. And then Got it. Everything blew, blew up. up. Stock options suck. Nineteen <laughs> like nineteen ninety eight <laughs> is when everything went to to yeah. shit, pretty much. So, uh, so then the the internet was already really heavy on the military uh, but um, I think it came too fast too quickly people didn't know what to do with it and sometimes and I still don't <laughs> that's no. true Kai I Kenny. still don't know what that version 2.0 means but <laughs> whatever <laughs> and then uh, after that uh, I was in LA for 13 years and I really got tired of living there because it's two tired hours of living in LA well I love uh, I, I love the city I, I love, love I love going to the, to the beach and hanging out with friends you love it okay sorry. yeah Exactly, just like the song, but I two hours once. Two hours. You won't in. go. I'm. You oh, gotta go. You to Take go your again. kids to Disneyland. Two hours Could in. Being a Scrooge. <laughs> driving two hours in, two hours out every day for so many years, it, it took a big toll on me. So, sure. Um, 
my mom came to Vegas and she moved here. I came visit her one week, and then the next weekend I was moving here. <laughs> and uh, uh, when I first came here, I was still working for the company in LA. But then Mandalay hired me right away to do all their websites. So this was Mandalay Bay itself or the Mandalay Group? Mandalay Group. Okay, so which was at the time, it was Circus Circus, mm -hmm. Excalibur, yeah. Luxor, and Mandalay Bay. And, so uh, you were handling Monte all Carlo that Monte Carlo was there. And uh, also all the Colorado Bell and the sure. Edgewaters and some of the... Well, wasn't some, that what you were doing when you were with us at All Talk, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, when you're, yeah, I, yeah, I was still talk with him. Yeah. 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 He, he had a double life. Against he was an agent, agent then, and I didn't even know agent, it. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> as secret as you. I'm always being a double agent. So he, I don't know if that's a worked good thing in the corporate world, doing his thing there, and then like put on a different outfit and was running a a music show over at uh, KLEV or Art Talk. Art Talk. Art Talk. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what we did there was uh, I, I wasn't designing the website. The websites were already designed, but we mm. were supporting them, and so a lot of people didn't understood what what was happening. So what we did is that. If you go to uh, Mandalay Bay Resort's website or whatever, you will see that they have all the floor plans, all the menus, everything that, that is inside the building. Right. We will be responsible 24-7 to updating that. So uh, a, a chef blows a new menu for a restaurant, we have to put it out there. Right. And I did that for many years for them. And then MGM came. We merged with them. And, and, uh, said. and no, I was there with them. Throughout the merger, you know, we did City Center. It was a big project, mm -hmm. right uh, when City Center opened. Then a lot of us got let go. Uh, that was like March of 2008. Well, I thought City Center was supposed to be creating jobs, not getting rid of jobs. No, no, the because we already have uh, implemented the technology. After that, they just need they the people need to you support anymore. it. You know, yeah, so robots suck, don't they? Yeah, they do. yeah. yeah. Or outsourcing. That's when outsourcing is started. Right, in 2008. Time. Right, right. This is the starting of sourcing to to China, to India. India. They did it before that, but it was kind of a dirty word. That, that's sure. when everything that March of 2008, I think, for everybody just blew even up. in this room was like like. I'm going to outsource. It it so did. when you talk to me on the what's going to have to happen if I'm on anybody's show, mm -hmm. you're going to have to call into a line. It's going to be someone from India or something, <laughs> and that's going to be pretend they're me. <laughs> he, he's he's making a great point because that was like this catalyst for even myself is that. You know, I was shooting for this company called Mingle Now, which was a little bit of a mix of a napkin night and a MySpace at the time. Uh, and uh, they were run by Blue Lithium. Well, they got bought out by Yahoo. Um, you know, I, I had all these things at that time. And then just slowly, boom, that goes. Yeah. Boom, that goes. And then everything that I acquired, my house, a car, all that, just started going away. Did I'm they like, go boom and went they too? They went boom too. <laughs> like, yeah. what is going on here? This is this is the weirdest thing. And, it, you know, it just happened so fast. There was no way to even react to what was going on. They, they're they still great companies. I, I have n nothing against them. But, not, I, but, not. I, but I was sour grapes when they let me go. <laughs> I was for a while. Yeah. Because you put a lot of effort. It was... It was when you put all your eggs in one basket. Sure. Right? So this is what you I learned not to do that anymore. This is what I was telling uh, Jeremy this but morning. The versatility. Like the versatility now is invaluable because if you're not working here, you're working there. There's no longer on a company you cannot have plan A and B. Right. You have to get plan A through Z. Yeah. Right. Nowadays, like yes. Literally. yes. I think even and George is recognizing that with yeah. the the changes that he's doing with yeah. All Talk. Um, He's recognizing that what it has been for, you know, ten years, twelve years, mm -hmm. can't be that anymore. It, you just have to almost reinvent I yourself, to adapt. I, I, adapt is, I, is I a think before word. we were told like, oh, you're doing too many things, you're not doing anything, right? Mm -hmm. so they they embedded that in us, like, oh, if you if you are doing five things at a time, you're not paying dedication, mm -hmm. right? But I think minds like us, they have always been connected to technology and you on radio and right. and also on the web have, um, I don't know, a different system of work that we can be doing five times. I have two phones and talking like to him, <laughs> talking to you, <laughs> right. texting. Sure. Uh, I don't know if everybody has that capability. To uh, I personally do. To mm -hmm. use a technology word, mm -hmm. um, partition, which right. basically yeah. means in a computer you've got several different um, areas, of, areas information. of information. I think that's what... Um, as our society or our, our age groups, you know, I'm 37, you're 44, going to be 44, 47, 46. So, uh, I still functional. So I think I'm it's in I'm not retiring yet. Well, <laughs> I'm not busting you guys on your age, but in, in yes, our, yes. in the, that 10 year 
realm is where we recognize that we need to um, do lots of different things. People will go, why do you do so many things? Photography, web, travel livery, uh, the radio show. It's because I, I recognize that they all point back Nowadays, to one Nowadays, you need to. That's yeah. the bottom line. You know, right. it's, not, it's not like it was maybe back even, say, 10 years ago. Right. 10 years ago, you know, you had one thing set up, maybe something on the side that you kind of dabbled in to get it yep. f pointed towards. Now, you have to have your hand in every damn thing that's going on right. and be looking for the next thing coming up. And, yeah. you, and you can't take that mentality of, I'm going to be at this company for years because I've got a great retirement Why plan. Why do they ask that question anymore? Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? You know, I don't freaking I, know I don't anymore. Know. <laughs> because even if I go work for this major corporation, uh, there's no loyalty there anymore. So then it changes the mindset. Okay, so if there's no loyalty from the major corporations, and it's fine if you want to work for the major corporations, I yeah. don't have a problem with it. I have it. a lot of friends that work on that. Yeah, they're but, fine with that. But, but if, you, if you understand that, if, if you go into it knowing that uh, your job potentially can't, may not be there in a year, and you start need to start thinking, okay, so how am I going to um, – How that's going to affect my life. It doesn't affect the corporation's life if they let me go because they, they, they cover themselves no problem. So how do I then do it? And so that's why when I talk to my friends and stuff and uh, encouraging them, you know, maybe even to do their own radio show or what have you, it's because I'm, I'm saying this is you branding yourself because – it was the same reason I bought a house. I'm not trying to detract too much, but I bought a house initially because... Edgar, you think he's trying to detract us? Yeah. He's I think so. You know, we're going to have to have another show. <laughs> <laughs> he already said he wanted to do a two-hour show. Yeah. But I wanted to say that when I bought my house originally, it was so I knew that for 30 years I could be in this house and I would never have to leave because a um, my landlord said, well, you've got to leave because of whatever. If you would have... Let's say you... You would have stayed there. You would have still have suffered through everybody else suffer when the real estate uh, sure. boulders. Sure, sure. You would have hit the kaboom yeah. with everybody else. Because like so. you were still in that 30-year. Right, but <laughs> but the difference being is that I could just stay there. I never I never saw that the economy was going to get its ass kicked, and then I would be out because of that, uh, un, uh, not my doing. You were setting up for the future, which is just about – I hate to say this, almost impossible to do now unless Can't you're do very anymore. versatile. You right. have to be able to be able to move and do uh, eight different things in order to stay firm. And that's yeah. where I wanted to bring that point to is yeah. because I, I learned if, if I got anything out of that happening was, okay, I have to be agile. I can't think and, and have that white picket fence idea in my head of I'm going to be here for 30 years and this, is, and this is how I can base my life. It's not that anymore. And, and I think that people need to know that. And that's why I want to bring it up because he does so many different things. Yeah. And it's because of that. He's like, I need to do this, 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 and this because – and it's – I thought of it back in the day of multiple sources of income. If this one gets Correct. cut off, mm -hmm. then I still have this. And if this one cuts off, I still have this. We it's used important. to call those part-time jobs, right? Sure. You have your full-time job and then you have two or three part-time jobs. Right, in your so hobbies. Now you I have like multiple part-time jobs <laughs> under one umbrella, <laughs> under one company. Right. And it used to be too that uh, you would go have a job based on um, benefits of the company. Well, that's even changing yeah. now too, you know, with what people have talked about. I um, don't want to delve into but like Obamacare. And yeah. that's a benefit of, uh, of health, you know. Now it's getting to that point where maybe you can just do it on your own and you don't have to be – working at a company just for that reason. I've been learning, like, uh, I, I'm, I went back to school, actually, to start learning to become a doctor so I can operate on myself and I save think some you bucks, should. too. Wow. Well, well, you already have, good. like, uh, the, the rusty scalpels in the back, so well, you're that, uh, yeah, I'm already one step ahead of everybody. <laughs> there's a, I mean, there's still a lot of corporations that are, like, really good. I, I mean, I work for a lot of them, like, uh, not dropping names, but I worked for Disney back in the day, HP, Lufthansa, big companies. And one of the, the ones that was amazing to work for was Disney because they, they have their own university. They, they, they take their employees and they really take care of them. It's mm -hmm. not like you go to other companies and oh, I don't want to work for that company. It's just a job. This one was like everybody it, it I've heard. Keep, it keeps you with, Disney the, with technology. And unless you were a character. And I've heard yeah. many people that didn't like it because of that. Well, that's probably because dealing with the and people. And I used to around. go to the park for free. Were you, so were you ever a character? No, 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 no. But I work on the, the Lion King, agent. the secret yeah. agent character. I did yeah. work on the Lion King project. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know a lot about. What did you do with the Lion King project? Yeah. Can we you talk did, about it? We did the storybook, the the one on the CD after the movie. Okay. We were responsible to creating a CD that was interactive for the kids, and it was very successful. They made millions of dollars with that thing. Wow. And so they, you know, they will ship a CD, mm -hmm. and the kids can color it, 
and you know it was Timon and Pumba. They had different games, and different challenges. That from my yeah. Kid, yeah. So, so you were help you helped with that then? We we, we helped with the design and, mm -hmm. and the programming on it, and then we helped with the support. To cool. some, because people will call and like okay. back in the day, computers with R, what is called RQs and and on the sound boards, they didn't talk to each other and the sound wouldn't come up and right. it, it was a nightmare. You mean like the pads and phones and stuff nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, technology was, uh, the technology was the technology was packed together like with with gum or something. Like, it was it wasn't <laughs> like it is now. And so yeah, that's so, all you had to do just chew some gum. Chew some gum. Oh, look, it works now. <laughs> so uh, you know, I decided on 2008 when the, the this big uh, laid off came not just for me I mean a lot of people got affected by it people have to even move out of Vegas a lot of my friends that were on my team and uh, you know you get to the point what what do I do now and I did went to apply to city center and I went to apply to all the other ones because they give us the opportunity I apply with right. the competitors I apply with everybody but you, you will go to three or four interviews and I think that just by law on the HR departments, they have to interview people, but okay. they don't necessarily have to hire people. Well, sure. They, but but then do you look at it then that there's so many people were looking for a job, and that may be why? It was or? a competitive, but, but it also, for me, was a like, like you, you, you have to do something different. You Right. But you also looked at, like, I'm, br I'm bringing all this experience, and I've already worked for your your company what so what's the problem well, well what's frustrating was going to an interview second interview department interview manager interview and then to the point that i'm gonna get the job you right. didn't even were contacted right that that was pretty depressing right not just for me but for everybody what's and you and i had a lot of conversations sure. that time, what should we do and you were already working independent yourself right so um, a lot of us here in vegas have looked to to, to your success and, and you have helped a lot of people. Right. This, this is the true. And uh, this is like, what can I do to provide the same dedication and services that I did for these companies on my own? Right. So I came up with Mixing It Up Productions. And, and, and the name confuses people because I was uh, with music and so, oh, Mixing <laughs> It Up Productions, what, what is it? Is it a DJ management company? Is right. it a mixing company? Is it an audio company? So they, I came with the name mixing it up because somebody in so somebody in technology mentioned that name. That it was a mixer. Mm -hmm. It was a technology mixer. Right. And the CEO of this big company, I'm not gonna name it, they say, this is a mix up, like mixing it up. Right. We're mixing it up different ideas and technologies, and that's how I came with with that umbrella, the mixing it up because it covers. For me, it covered the music. It covered mixing it up as in social, right? Mixing it up as in uh, events. Mm -hmm. and so it, it kind of covers that. So I wanted to clarify what that does. What so what the name mixing it up is. So now about. mixing it up is is an event promotions and social media company. Okay, that's that's my main role on the company. It's my own company. Right. Uh, I do a lot of consulting and a lot of uh, uh, things for big. Uh, a lot of consulting and and I do um, a lot of traveling with different companies. Sure, but we, we mainly f focus on the promotional aspect of things. Right. So we are an addition to their PR and marketing department. Okay. What we grab their idea and we we expand it. Right. We make it better for them. Right. They don't have even though they do a lot of things in house. They don't have the time and dedication or or or, or the ability. To, to do all the things that they have to do. Right. And then they bring you... Wow, that's a great picture. Yeah. <laughs> I get the weirdest stuff sent to me. No, on <laughs> we're watching porn <laughs> while we're doing the show. We people send me weird stuff on Facebook. I that's was distracted Facebook there with his little tablet. So, so we do a, a little bit of... of but also you, what you bring to the table is, and you have to tell people uh, that you work with is, listen, I'm bringing this specific thing and you need to allow me to have the flexibility to... Do, do what I do best for your company. I, I'm going to tell you a secret. There, there is a oh, gap. Wow. There, like there, there, yeah, there's there's a gap in between technology, mm -hmm. casino, personal marketing, and PR and branding. Okay. Right. Okay. Do, those departments honestly don't talk to each other. Sure. They they don't understand the languages. Right. The casino managers have one language. PR, marketing, and branding has another language. Right. And technology has another language. Right. Since I have been in all of those fields, I, I work as a liaison, I, a translator 
between the technology department and the marketing department. And I come with my company in the middle. Sure. And I dilute all the the stuff that doesn't need to be discussed. Or I translate for one department and translate for the other. But what's but the thing is though, and and, and it's the unfortunate thing is that um you know what to bring to the table and because there's that gap that you're referring to a lot of times they will not think that what you're bringing to the table is that important because they just don't know they don't know that um what you're teaching them in maybe social media or technology is is beneficial to them because it's still that old school thought pattern it's still the old school thought pattern that we're just going to flood everybody with um emails and and you know an an instagram post that does anybody really think that emails are effective any longer? Honestly, no. I, I I I know which ones are important to me, but everything else I just go through and it, go delete, 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 delete. Right, you're wasting all this time. Even if even if they're typing out one and trying to send it to everybody, nobody's really paying attention to this stuff. The, any the, the, there is a percentage of them that are important. For mm -hmm. example, if you belong to uh, the casinos here, mm -hmm. if you belong to the promotional cards. They still send you the email. Right. Hey, here's your promotions for this week, That's for this tough. month. Because you're, yeah, but, but you're, I mean, it's something you're, you're joined up it. for. You're yeah. waiting for that. Yeah, you're waiting those, it's those other discounts. Ones, it's the but other like, ones where there's a list in that. But yeah. like, if we were to do a show like this, and I, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go through my list and send it to everybody. No. Not everybody's going to be interested. So sure. it's going to be a waste of my time to even yeah. pretty much do that. Right. Now, and, and even Facebook is not even effective for that. Like, I never click on the. <laughs> events invites. No, right. you will never. We were talking see, about that the other day. Yeah, you will never see me. I would say I've done it before, but I recently I I don't put an event uh, invite. Right. I right. just put it on my timeline. If you see That's it, what I do, you see it. You know? I used to do events often uh, when I had the old radio show, and it, it got to the point where people were like, I'm not. They would say something like, uh, Let's say they were in Florida. I'm not in Las Vegas. Why are you sending this? I can't hear your show. I go, it's on the internet. What are you talking about? You can hear it anywhere. But there was that mentality and right. that gap of them receiving that and them being annoyed and, by it. And, and I said, yeah, I'm not going to do it anymore. That's big thing. Anymore. That's why I said there's, time. there's still a gap sort of in a way between people thought pattern and the fact that there's that technology there. You know, like you said, everybody's familiar with the internet now, but yet yeah. they say to you, well, how am I going to hear this? Well, the internet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. what, what, what station do I tune in on my car radio? No, we you don't. I well, mean, it's, 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 the, the way I see it is like the TV, right? We all know how to turn it, mm -hmm. and, and the same the internet. The internet is there, but a lot of people don't know how to utilize it. They don't associate it. certain things with it. Right. They, just, they, they, they just use it. If you, if you were telling them how important it social has, media was, they would go, oh, no, that's just for kids. It has become <laughs> like the, the power, the telephone, and that is just another thing that now we have. Yeah. Right, you know? and uh, some people know how to use it. Some people don't, and uh, and I think those those invites, uh, those events invites are also not a good uh, measure of the reality. Right. What, I, what I mean is, I do on the consultant that I do for companies. I run a lot of uh, Twitter accounts. I, I I rather not tell you which ones because it, it is me <laughs> tweeting and for them, and right? For them, and it's kind of that's like, the yeah. secret agent part. Yeah, the yeah. secret yeah. agent. So <laughs> hashtag, so, but, hashtag. But you know, I I have a lot of tools that have been given to me either by friends on on the business or or I have done partnership with big companies that do this, and they have given me this statistic and database collecting tools, what allows me to do a competitive analysis which other companies don't do. So on on these event pages, it is not a true output because um, if Jeremy puts an event and he invites me. I'm automatically going to go even though I don't click that I'm going. Right. I will do it for him because he's my friend and I will say I'm joining. Right. But but sometimes I don't I won't do it, but I still go to his. Right. Right. So There's but it, so if you are promoting yourself, it, it's not a good thing because he might say you invited 2000 people but only 100 are going, right. but then 500 show up. Or or the opposite. I mean, you have you'll say 100 people have said that they're going and then you know, 20 show up, and then you can go ask those other people. Well, you said you were going, and I, I, I prepared for you to be there. Right. Oh, I was just being supportive. I just said accept <laughs> or I'm going because I wanted to be supportive of you. But you're not going, so if I base my whole entire it didn't support you list at all. on you. And we talked about this on another yeah. show is that I bought all these things. Maybe I bought all the alcohol or it I bought all the – It messed you up. It messed you up because I, your expenditure is out mm -hmm. there. and It doesn't give you that real – like he's talking about, that real what's going to actually happen – based on you posting that. Yeah. 
and this is why I created the company because to to believe it or not, these big corporations need help, right? They rather have a small boutique company come in and help them, mm -hmm. and and it, it will generate a lot of business. And and what they spend is, is not as much, but w you you get what is called case study, right? They mm -hmm. sit down with me. I want I want to see what what they're doing. If they're gonna be spending ten thousand dollars on a billboard here in Las Vegas Boulevard. You know, I can do more effectively for them for one third of the cost sure. and reach more people. Right. Right. So I sit down with them and I do a lot of competitive analysis. I get their Twitter account and I compare it to their competitors. Mm -hmm. And we do a analysis, the traffic, and I mean, it's really in depth data crazy thing. Right. Right. A lot of data analysis. And that's how recently I've been traveling a lot because I, I got involved in data security because now, since all of this data is growing everywhere for everybody to grab it, right. you have to secure it. Uh, I mean, we have the cases of Target and everybody, and, and, and recently a uh, company that the I'm associated with it, that I work as a consultant, Palazzo and the Venetian got hacked. And uh, that, that's a big financial problem, right. you know, for any company. or Even for, for us as a person, um, somebody can steal your social security, your identity, and everything. Sure. So to all my friends out there, I always recommend them, don't don't use your names involved in passwords. Don't use your dirt uh, date, oh, uh, uh, your your birthdays. Um, change letter for numbers. You know, like right. like for example, I, Jeremy. Yeah, you, give us one of his. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll give you my password. Or or my name it starts with E. I will use a three. Well, you know, I don't oh, want to okay. give the log logarithm. You don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to give us <laughs> what your passwords are. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> it, we we did a study, and a lot of people use password as password. So. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, now you just went to a big conference up in San Francisco, all about yeah. that, right? A lot of people were like wondering why I'm sitting in a, a, in a room full of FBI agents and NSA, and uh, they everybody thought I switched. Uh -oh. George is a fan of the NSA. Uh oh. Everybody. <laughs> things that I, I switch teams, but uh, no, I'm still <laughs> all <laughs> me, but, you know, just working on um, different parts of the technology. Again, uh, like I explained before, you know, we started with the tech support, we went to the web, with social media, and now we're going to move into data security. Everything you're going to hear on the news is data security, data security. And uh, there's a lot of things changing, and also for TV stations and everything, um, uh, the TV is going to go away. You know, like if you see now, uh, it's going away. It's I mean, gonna be, there's going to be a lot I of. I mean, there's still we still always want to have the box. The boxes will never go away. But everything's integrated into one thing. Your phone, you walk right. in, it talks well, to your TV. Your TV talks to your laptop. Your back laptop to the future is coming. I know hoverboards. Like I've seen a hoverboard. Netflix did a sample <laughs> with uh, House of Cards. Right, they produce a whole um, program just for Netflix. Um, these networks just sign up a deal with Disney to do a lot of their shows just to web, like mm -hmm. you know. You know, and, and talking about that, uh, this last G this last Super Bowl is the first time that I watched without going to some random uh, uh, link that somebody put on the internet because they plugged in their TV to their their internet access and put it on the web. The first time I w I watched it through NFL like dot com, I think it was the whole entire thing. Play, play, and they had, and I, I sat there and go, this is amazing that they finally looked at it and said, you know what, this we're gonna do this. And like, because there's plenty of people. I don't have television anymore. I haven't paid for tel cable television for seven years at least. About the same. Yeah. At least somebody finally figured out in a room that, if, let's say, if, if they reached millions and billions of people via the TV broadcast, but now they triplicated that by. Put it on yeah. the web. And yeah. besides that, they could they could actually track how many people were, were yeah. watching it. So they did and announce this year it was the yeah and and, and the, the NSA and the mm -hmm. NSA yeah. So they did say that this year they had the highest number of people that ever watched the Super Bowl. Well, you just added it on the internet, people. <laughs> now you can track that. Duh. Well, a lot of people right now they don't even like TV shows. You know, at one point in time, you used to sit down. And watch it at a set time. You get home. Oh, I got to get home. Everything no. was your schedule was based around yeah. your favorite TV After show. After now it's done. You just go back onto their site if it's ABC, NBC, whatever, yep. and watch it if yep. you missed it. I I will see everybody posting about. I'm watching Shark Tank. And I said I really like yeah. that show, I but like that show. I'm just gonna wait until um, 
Sunday to watch it because I know it's going to be on Hulu. And then you can watch a bunch of them if you missed any. And I just have to put up with a couple of commercials Mm -hmm. on Hulu. Big deal. It's not... It's not like, ruining my day. Like Netflix did with House of Cards. House I go of back Cards, to that. Exactly. Yeah. They, they released the whole second season for you to watch. Right. Instead of doing one episode at a time. time. The whole right. thing. So you I, can I, absorb so, it all if you want. Yeah, <laughs> some people did it. I did it in a weekend. You know, <laughs> like really like bench there and sit down. And like that. the show is created. They, they, you cannot stop watching it. Right. You're on demand. And that's what it, 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 they did it the right way because if they would have paused me and I have to wait a week for the next episode to come, I will, I will I will right. put it away. Nowadays you do. Everybody's you know, ADHD anymore. Another, another thing that they did pretty interesting is different directors for different episodes. And, and, and that's hard because they have to continue the, mm-hmm. the previous the story, episode. Right. And normally they use the same director, but right. they use multiple directors. But all, all of this is going in technology. Everything is going to... And on the small devices, like on the phones. It's true. Right now, all of the people that are watching this are watching it via Ustream. Right after this is done, it goes on to the All Talk uh, Radio's YouTube page. Yeah. You'll find it later on the JeremyWomanShow.com. But you're watching it live, and then it goes is in a podcast form, if you will. But we're doing both at the same time. time. Yeah. yeah. And that's and you can watch it from your phone. You can listen. Uh, you know. Um, I had somebody listen to it all the way from their destination, <laughs> point A, to the end, right? all on the freeway, on their phone, oh, but right. it, their phone, the, the sound went through their car, they're, so they're <laughs> hearing it through their speakers in their car, yeah. watching it on Ustream, and they didn't have to be sitting in, in front. If they wanted to watch it live, or they could watch it later, so that's the technology, and, and how at least All Talk is, is really taking that and saying, this is how we're going to... You know, really change the game, it. yeah. And so for for everybody that is listening out there, if you guys want to take your company to the next level, like you know, contact me. I'll I'll give you a uh, I'll I'll see your situation. I work with you and um, give you the frame price and all of that stuff. And um, this is how you contact Edgar. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, can yeah, go, go to the Jeremy Womack Show dot com if you if you'd like. Uh, and and his Twitter information is there. But right in front of the screen right now, uh, George is being kind enough to hold yeah. that. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. That's how you can contact Edgar to you know give you a quote on uh, the different uh, services that you provide. And if you don't get it right now, I'm going to take it down, pause yeah. it on YouTube, and write it down. <laughs> That's a good thing if yeah. you're watching it on a podcast <laughs> on YouTube. Just pause it and just write it down or just add it right there. It's, it's perfect. I, I learn from a lot of my friends, don't, don't assume, ask. If you guys have a question, ask me, and I'll tell you. Like a lot of people assume that I'm like this crazy dude running all over the place. Well, let's. We, I, I'm not doing only, anything. We <laughs> only, yeah, we only touched on it a little bit. So let's talk about Info Edge, the, the, the company that you are, are working with, doing their director events and travel. Let's yeah. talk about that a little bit. Yeah. What is Info Edge, and and how do you? Uh, what services do you provide for them so people can see? Oh, Edgar goes to Singapore. He does all this stuff. He's not just this this um, playboy that's traveling the world. He's actually doing work. And what is that work? And how may people listening to this hire you to do similar things for them? Okay, the, this company is two falls, right? They 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 are based in San Francisco. They're a technology company, and they're consultant for five hundred uh, um, Fortune five hundred companies. Fortune five hundred, okay. Big companies, right? So what they do is that they go into a company as a consultant and they consolidate all the data and they secure it, right? Okay, they, they create processes, uh, document uh, document control and all, all of the, the stuff. Because when you go into a corporation, secretary secretary A, secretary B are using different documents when the company wants you to use the same document, right? They do a lot of consolidation, logistics, and things like that. So that they hire me to take care of them when they travel around the world. Okay. And that means that I have to go set up their hotels, their their airline tickets, uh, all their activities they're going to do, the conference space, even if it's just a simple dinner or going out to a club, whatever they need to do, Sure. I'll take care of that. On that, it allows me to also meet their clients. Right. And now, you know, I'm getting job from the clients just because for uh, by association. Sure. So, um, when when I travel, let's say for example, when I went to Singapore, I got there three days before, mm-hmm. and I left three days after of the conference that we went there. Right. And so I had to make sure that everything was set up, make sure security-wise, these executives were protected. 
Sure. You know, the, the transportation was secure. Uh, make sure that the rooms were secure. Right. And um, But at the same time, when I travel with them, I'm learning the technology. Right. And this is how I got thrown into, oh, you have to go to this conference and learn cybersecurity. Because you're going to integrate that into their business and help them more. Yeah. And when I'm traveling with them, we have a big client, and they're, they're looking across the table like, who's this dude? Is he the bodyguard, or is he really involved in what sure, we're doing? Sure, sure. So I have to bear, bear some what my clients are doing. Right. So it, it is good because it, I learn right. everywhere I go. Um, I get culture. And um, last time when we were having lunch, I discussed <laughs> to you, like, uh, he was, How? he was showing him the different foods. He goes, this is, this is, what we are eating here is not what they're eating here, <laughs> but it looks the same. <laughs> yeah. Well, not just that, but, but I always, I tell my friends now when I have time to talk to them, is like, we, we have it made here. I mean. Yeah, he was telling me that. Compared, compared to, to going to. other countries, we, we're really spoiled brats. <laughs> we, we have access to, you know, we have secure homes, uh -huh. we have transportation, we have a lot of benefits that other countries don't have. And I mean, you humble yourself when you go to these countries and and see uh, that there is no medium, right? So see, George, we we put up with the cotton candy in the sky because if you go other places, it's just third world, and you don't want to deal with it. Yeah, but I say we're Americans; we don't need to put up with that. I <laughs> <laughs> you know, is 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 um, there's you either poor. Or rich, there's no in between. Right, this is pretty. You talking about here or no, other countries? Other countries. Country. We're getting there, but <laughs> well, maybe that's what you know. That's globalization for you. <laughs> well, the, the big important thing is when I travel is is that you learn other cultures and you like to respect them more instead of what you just hear, right? Like uh, this culture is not that bad, like they say it was bad. Or you don't go to the country and you get shot in the middle of the street, like people say. It's no sometimes. Like that. So you so you learn, you right? Know? And. Um, and you you learn how they also see us, you know. They see us as spoiled brats, don't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quit bringing your KFC and Taco Bell over here. We don't want it. No and more Starbucks. Well, we have we have a lot of more to talk to, but you know, we'll I'll come back before we, we got uh, a few more minutes before EDC. No, we won't. Oh yeah, EDC. If you want to bring a little quick before uh, we we selling the helicopters. Yeah, this EDC. is this is how uh, Edgar. So I jump from one thing to another. I'm like, <laughs> you, you know, the the movie up. Yeah, squirrel. That dog, that goes, I, I'm him. totally him. He's squirrel. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't have ADD, I think, but I, I, I move from one place to another. He, he certainly does that. I, as his friend, I have seen that happen. But um, EDC, for those that don't know, is called the Electric Daisy Carnival. Basically, uh, it was out in L.A. for a long time, and Pasquale Rotella brought it out here uh, for uh, because it's just a bigger, bigger venue and it's over at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Right now we're going to put in front of the screen what uh, Edgar uh, and his company is offering. is Their helicopter uh, it's transfers to Electric Daisy Carnival. Um, there's a phone number there. Basically, a lot of the complaints about Electric Daisy Carnival have been the transportation aspect. So it takes a long time. It's not so much the driving from Las Vegas out there. It's the line in which it takes to, to get actually into the facility. And then when it's done, how long it takes you to leave the place. I mean, you're talking about thousands of people with cars, and it can take, you know, three hours for you to get home, which would normally would only take you maybe 30 minutes. So with the helicopter tours or the helicopter transfer, it's basically we pick you up near the strip, yeah. fly in a helicopter, drop you off. When, you, when you're done, you get picked up and flown back. It, it basically runs from like uh, mid-afternoon until 6 in the morning, every 20 minutes. Right. So, and they will never leave you behind. So, but also, you know, how do you... Because yeah, walking to, back would suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all that information is on my Facebook. If you, go, you guys want to do, I'm also launching, uh, we're starting Azura at the Palazzo again. I've been doing that for five years. Right. So, but I, I did want to touch on this. Some some people might sit there and say, you know, an, an individual seat for this. If you didn't see it on the screen earlier, um, five hundred dollars one way. It's eight hundred dollars for a round trip, um, or you can get a, a private charter up to seven passengers, three thousand one way, five thousand round trip. Um, you probably want to have the round trip because one way, unless you're going to get a ride back with somebody. Yeah. But you might go. That's expensive. And you could say the same thing about bottle service in the nightclub. You could say the same thing about a lot of different things of the expense involved. But 
how much you want to enjoy your experience. Exactly. How much you want to enjoy your experience is, is, is key because I, I'll have people saying, I don't want to pay $120 to, to go between Disneyland and um, California Adventure for one day. But if you think about it, the amount of time that you can spend in the park, 12 hours, let's say, you know, you're, you're talking about 10 hours of entertainment, uh, $10 uh, per hour of entertainment while you're there. So you're, the aggravation and the frustration of doing that flight back and forth is is well worth it and so i wanted to give him the key i haven't done it yet but you know i i will see him taking off and giving peace signs and when he's landing giving peace signs it, it, you and get a spoiler if you do it one sure. you don't want to stop doing that yeah I've, I've flown private before on a pl private plane and now i'm just like oh geez i have to get on the commercial flight is, is the it sounds sad and i'm sorry you're if, spoiled if, if yeah if people go out i'm spoiled out here too about you know getting into you know if there's a line somewhere i don't want to go because i've i've experienced just a velvet rope lifting and walking right in, so it, it happens. You see, why do you need two hour show? Yeah, well, we're, we're on out Friday at least we're talking about doing we, it at we, least. We on haven't Friday. even touched anything. Of what I I well, maybe you should just have your own show. <laughs> How about that? Edgar gets his own show and you can talk about whatever you want. So yeah, you can hit me on Facebook, ask me all the questions you want. I'll, I'll tell you what I can tell you. I have okay. to protect some clients. I don't think we're friends yet on Facebook, yeah. are we? We can, you, you we can be? Be? Yeah, I think we should connect. Yeah, should. absolutely. It'd be nice. So uh, if you want to learn more about Edgar and you want to contact him directly, go to Twitter. Go to twitter.com slash Edgar Arana, A-D-E-D-G-A-R-A-R-A-N-A. -A -A -A. And uh, contact him there. You can go to the JeremyWilmakeShow.com. There's a link there for that and more information about Edgar. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me today. Thanks, Thanks Edgar, for hanging out. And I'll we'll come back. See, yeah, good. See you on Monday. Bye.